Hello and welcome to the April edition of What's Up Stratford. Joining me in starting the show is Kelly McIntosh, the general manager of the Stratford Perth Museum. Kelly, thanks very much for joining me. I'm so happy to be here and I'm still getting used to that title, <laughs> people calling me that. It's brand well, new, but it's been a busy three, four months, let me tell you. You were previously at Blythe and I know you have a history of storytelling. Tell us why that just culminated that you'd be the best fit for the general manager at the museum. It really did come together. I mean, Peter, you might remember um, when my daughter was younger, I got very involved in uh, creating stories around the history of really women of industry in Stratford. Um, and I think, uh, you know, that's something that I would do normally as a theater artist. I've always been drawn to creating plays about um, untold stories or um, stories that maybe there needs to be a conversation around. Um, celebrating women in industry was just something naturally that, that came to me. Um, which is what the Blythe Festival is well known for. So um, I was doing that. And then the Blythe Festival sort of tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, why don't you come back and work with us here, which gave me an opportunity to uh, work in leadership and financial leadership and development and marketing. And wasn't that lucky because uh, when this opportunity to come back home and be in Stratford came up at the museum, who were previous partners with me on on many things, and I I had worked with John before. It was just too much to not go for. As much as I love live, and I I'm you know I'm still working with them on some some shows. I'm uh, I'm just so happy to be here in the in the belly of history in Stratford. In the belly of history, indeed. Well, talking about history, and I think there's an interesting correlation because you wrote and stage Crawler Girls, and you also have a current exhi exhibit around Crawler. So just catch us up on that. Oh, yeah. Not only is there um, a wonderful exhibit here at the museum on Crawler or Crawler Crawler Manufacturing. That's actually the first scene of the play where actors arguing about how to pronounce the name of that wonderful almost 100 year furniture legacy that um, had a home here in Stratford as well as across North America. So it, the 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 Crailer Crawler story really began um, the podcast, the exhibit, and the play really came out of a photograph in the historic kitchen of the uh, the Stratford Perth Museum. There was uh, three photographs of women in the '40s and the '50s in these uniforms, and of course, I asked Michaela and John, "Who were they? What was that about?" And um, and I found out about this fantastic ball team, fast pitch team that really ramped up in the 40s uh, during wartime, very much a league of their own uh, story in which there were players on, on the Crailer Girl team who were being looked at south of the border to go to that All-American League. And it all kind of climaxed in 1953 when the league folded and the Crailer Girls won their final huge championship where I've found out since there'd be as many as 5,000 people who would show up at that ball diamond behind the Arden Park um, to, to watch these games. So through researching that show and working with um, Michaela and the museum on that history, there came about the idea of the wonderful exhibit that's downstairs on the, that we're gonna have running through the better part of 2024. Um, also a huge sculpture of a gorgeous chair was created, a Crailer chair that you can see as a kind of a uh, welcome to the museum. And currently on our website, uh, I did a six part podcast series where I interviewed people who worked at Crailer Manufacturing in Stratford from the 1940s, well, born maybe in the, in the 30s, but um, uh, worked there maybe from the 50s through to its closure in the late 80s. So there was a real pig out. <laughs> On, on the Crailer story. I'm, I'm going on about it. It means so much to me, this story, because people talk about Crailer manufacturing as this wonderful, like it was the era of the big family um, company. You know, they'd have newsletters and they were connected and they took them up to Goderich for picnics every year. It was the most wonderful place to work. But underneath and within all that are these wounds, you know, the, um, 
uh, the end of Crailer manufacturing was really painful for, for a lot of people. Um, pensions were were um, taken away by this new, you know, millionaire conglomerate who had bought the place. And uh, it's always those places in storytelling I'm most interested in where there's such a feeling of celebration and need to talk about it. And then there's a, another side of it that's that's just waiting to come out. That's harder to face, but I think that's what we need to do when we're telling stories. Kelly, what's new and exciting at the museum? Well, the museum this summer, we're really going to open up the house and celebrate the home while we have Here For Now Theater, Stratford Summer Music, a wonderful exhibit partnered with um, uh, La Cajou Fall at the Stratford Festival. We're going to really dive into um, arts and culture uh, alive here in the museum, as well as some great talks on agriculture and uh, um, folks who are who are making huge advancements in that field. So we're covering all the bases here, really. Kelly, thanks for joining me and thank you for your leadership at the museum and bringing lots of new things uh, to Stratford. Okay, thank you so much. It's been great talking with you. Okay, coming up next is Kathy and we're going to talk about United Housing. <laughs>